Good morning, guys. Today I am here to discuss about the new chapter of class 10 physics, sources of energy. Within this chapter, we learn different type of source of energy like wind energy, solar energy, uh, thermal energy, nuclear energy, etc. etc. Now, if you go for my earlier videos, then you can get a clear idea about class 10 electricity chapter. From there, you can get um, the definition of current, potential, resistance, resistivity, their relation, electric energy, electric power, some numerical, etc. etc. You just go through that, you will get the idea about electricity chapter. Now, here within this, we uh, will talk different type of energy and their their sources like the sources of energy within that here is the some picture in the first picture uh, one can say some of the energy source like sun wood wind windmill even our uh, earth soil or some natural things which can give the energy source even that thing we are using in this form like we are using water energy to convert to electrical energy by this by the process in the first picture hydroelectric next we can use wind energy to convert in electrical energy by using this windmill like this way cow dung we can convert to some electrical energy sun energy or the solar energy we can convert to electricity etc etc there so these are the picture what we will discuss within this chapter now the next things the contain what are the things we will discuss within this chapter that thing we will discuss here the first things what we will discuss within this is nothing but the good sources of energy to be a good source what are the criteria required that thing we will discuss within this things second is types of sources of energy means what are the types of sources of energy is present now till now that thing we will discuss so within that also the first things is conventional sources of energy and conventional sources of energy what is this conventional sources of energy that thing also we will discuss within this even uh, within this conventional sources of energy fossil fuel thermal power plant hydro power plant biomass wind energy each and everything we will explain detail within this chapter and the second part of this types of sources of energy is nothing but this non-conventional sources of energy the definition of this non-conventional sources of energy along with the solar energy energy from sea which can be categorized into more three parts like tidal energy wave energy ocean thermal energy even geothermal energy and nuclear energy or you may say as a modern type of energy all these things we will discuss within this chapter okay and the last thing within this sources of energy is nothing but environmental consequence this environmental consequence means how this energy is related to our environment so whether it is it is uh, really um, harmful for our society or our environment or it is uh, good for our our society as well as the environment that thing also we will discuss means the sources of this energy are eco-friendly or not that thing we will discuss within this topic so these are the main content of the sources of energy and we will go each and every point so the first point is good sources of energy so let's proceed for that <coughs> so before to that energy and its sources means what is the energy and what is its sources that thing we will discuss what is energy from class 9 one can say energy is nothing but the ability to do work and even from class 9 only one can say that there are two types of energy kinetic energy and potential energy no there it's not only two types apart from that there are so many types of energy which can be converted from one form to another form 
and each and every type of energy is coming from our nature only like wind energy from wind is from nature solar energy from sun from nature even this thermal energy from wood or coal from nature etc means whatever energy we will choose each and every energy is coming from our nature so what is this slide says let's have a look energy is the ability to do work or the total power derived from our natural resources and the energy exists in many forms and can be converted from one form of energy into another energy is usable from is dissipated to its surroundings as less usable from so whatever i told you the same things is written here so energy is nothing but the ability to do work and we can convert one form of energy to other form so the second point we can say energy is mainly derived from natural sources like the sun ocean fossil fuel wind etc and is converted into electrical energy that we consume for our daily needs and benefits means that apart from uh, my voice the the things is given here that whatever the fact or whatever energy we are using each and everything is coming from nature only but we have to convert all those type of energy to electrical energy for for our daily needs and benefits means whatever energy we are using that things is nothing but the electrical energy and that electrical energy is coming from nature only okay so here is a some picture for alternative energy sources means uh, geothermal energy wind energy solar energy hydric electric nuclear biomass etc so all those type of energy we are using right now means nowadays okay now the second is what and why energy crisis now when a crisis will occur a crisis will occur when we need something but that things is not enough amount then only the energy uh, then only the crisis will occur for energy also the same thing means each and every country they needs fuel they needs coal they needs energy but they don't have enough amount means this coal or this fuel this this is not enough amount to serve whole world so that's why that's why the crisis occur and one can definitely say whatever energy we are using from ancient to till it it's its maximum is from coal and fuel and that thing will not last after 20 or 30 years so here will be some crisis of energy so of course we we can um proceed for for the different types of energy source means apart from this coal and petrol we have to think for different type of energy source so uh, that thing we will discuss uh, later on so let's proceed for the what and why energy crisis the first things an energy crisis occur when we all have a great need of fuel of electricity but does not have enough amount of them of course for example a large portion of energy we used is derived from oil some expert claim that we will run out of oil in just a few decades of course from after 20 to 30 day, uh, years uh, maybe we will not get that much amount of oil means this oil amount will be uh, very less so here is a picture which can shows that uh, this oil industry picking this oil from uh, soil uh, soil and the second thing is uh, this oil industry picking this oil from ocean like uh, our country um uh, taking oil from ocean in bombay high next things when we use energy in its usable form like in cooking we convert the form of energy and get out work get our work done during this process since we cannot reverse the change involved in this process so we cannot get back the original usable form of energy due to this it becomes important to think about energy shortage and the related energy crisis so that thing is very crucial and very important actually we can convert one form of energy to other form of energy there is no problem but the fact is we cannot 
convert it reverse back means means suppose to run a car we are using fuel now this fuel is actually converting to kinetic energy and that's why this car is running or electrical energy or heat energy but one cannot change all those type of energy like kinetic energy or electrical energy or this um, heat energy to the main energy or this fossil fuel one cannot convert and that's why the crisis occurred so here is the problem as it is one way so the crisis will occur definitely and that's why we need to search for alternative sources of energy and that thing also we will discuss and uh, of course we now nowadays we have different sources of energy means alternative sources of energy that thing also we will discuss let's process okay good sources of energy as per our content the first topic is good sources of energy what is this good sources of energy the first point one can say is <clears throat> which has a high calorie value high calorie value means by using a small amount of particular fuel if we are getting a huge amount of energy then we can say yes that fuel have a high calorific value so to be a good source of energy this high calorific value should be must okay second one can say be easily accessible easily accessible means we can we can get it very easily like uh, for solar energy we are getting sun from each and every corner of our country as well as uh, in our world so it is easily accessible third to be easy to store and transport means if it is really very easy to store and transport then it will be a good source of energy some of the uh, sources of energy like uh, nuclear energy this things is really harmful to store as well as to transport so it's not a good source of energy regarding this point of view but it may be it may be uh, the good sources of energy with respect to other point of view okay number four be economic of course that cost should be less so that each and every person can use that sources of energy number five intermediate ignition temperature means the temperature should not be very high as well as should not be very less let's suppose we are using some coal and this temperature always uh, greater than 2000 degrees centigrade means one cannot use it so it's not a good source of energy regarding that point as well as if its temperature suppose less than 10 degrees centigrade then also it's not a good source of energy means the temperature should lie within a finite limit okay next things is eco-friendly this thing is uh, really very very important nowadays eco-friendly means we have to use such a source which cannot harm our society like coal or petroleum these are the source what uh, when we are using these things that time it release carbon monoxide or other some gases which can harm our society so it's not a good sources of energy regarding this point but um, one can say the geothermal energy or you can say you can say as uh, solar energy these are the things is really uh, very good sources of energy regarding this eco-friendly points of view okay. next is less combustibles of course one can say um, uh, that should be less combust uh, combustibles so that we can store or we can use it uh, very easily okay now you may ask me one question then which one is a good sources of energy please give me one example of good sources of energy so regarding this question i will say that there is no particular energy source which we can say as good sources of energy regarding all those points means one source of energy cannot cannot hold all of this point so when we will say yes it's a good sources of energy out of this seven point if it matching or its advantage is four or five and suppose two is not matching with this then also we will say yes 
that things is a good sources of energy means the maximum number out of these things if it matching with maximum number then only we will say yes it's a good sources of energy but there is no particular sources of energy which follows all those type of things means all those points so here is the picture which can show you uh, the total factor factor by which one can say yes that particular things is a good source of energy so you just go through this picture you'll get a clear idea okay the next things one can say is types of source of energy uh, based on our contain this is the second topic types of sources of energy uh, how we can classify the sources of energy the first things one can say source of energy can be divided into two types number one is conventional and the second is non-conventional now what is this conventional and what is this non-conventional conventional source of energy are those which are being used since long time means from ancient to modern time whatever sources we are using means for for which we are habituated that sources of energy is a conventional sources of energy like coal wood wind etc whereas the non-conventional sources of energy are those sources which use has started only recent time like sun wave etc so here is the main uh, classification of sources of energy the first things sources of energy can be con con um, classified into two parts one is conventional source second is a non-conventional source this conventional sources also classified into two parts commercial non-commercial this commercial can be classified into coal petroleum electricity means these are the form we can say as a commercial conventional source non-commercial means fire wood straw dried dung means what we are using in our home that thing is a non-commercial conventional sources of energy and within that non-conventional sources of energy one can say bioenergy solar energy wind energy tidal energy energy from the urban waste each and every topic we will discuss don't worry you just remember all those points okay now only these two types of sources of energy is there no sir there are also another two types of sources of energy is there and sources of energy can be characterized in, in one of more way one is renewable and the second one is non-renewable so what is this renewable sources of energy sir a renewable sources of energy source which can last for a very long time its supply is unlimited they are also called on exist non-existable sources of energy means renewable sources are those which we can use more and more means which will not finish simply what are the uh, things so we can say yes this is a renewable sources of energy like sun sun energy um, we are using and it is unlimited we can say even we can say wind energy wind is blowing so this energy is a renewable sources of energy like the same way wave energy is a renewable sources of energy so these are the factors are called as a renewable sources of energy whereas non renewable sources of energy we will discuss and uh, that time we will discuss also the what are the things is non renewable sources of energy here is a picture which can show a uh, idea about renewable sources of energy like solar cell we are using to capture solar energy and transfer it to uh, electrical energy even this windmill is converting to wind energy to electrical energy these are the things is a renewable sources of energy what we are using right now okay next is non-renewable sources of energy sources which supply is limited and is likely to be finished one day they are also called exhaustible sources of energy example of such type of energy results are coal petrol etc means what are the uh, fossil fuel or fuel is present um, in our um, world which can be finished after some decades that things is will be a non-renewable sources of energy example is coal petrol etc okay let's uh, find out the difference between a renewable and non-renewable sources of energy so here is a picture which can show a clear idea about 
a renewable and non renewable energy source uh, first for the renewable sources of energy we can say solar biomass wind geothermal and hydro or uh, water source can be a renewable sources of energy as it will not finish it can be repeat whereas non renewable sources of energy are those uh, like uh, fossil fuel of oil coal nuclear natural gas etc yes nuclear is also a non renewable sources of energy because uranium thorium whatever atoms we are using for non renewable sources of energy that things also also finished after a long time so it will be also a non renewable energy source okay so that this much only and uh, some of the question based on uh, this topic what actually you have to write in your notebook so the first question you have to write define sources of energy second what is renewable sources of energy how one can say a source of energy is a good source of energy give some example of non renewable sources of energy and what are the difference between conventional and non conventional sources of energy these five question you have to write in your question i mean uh, exercise book so that's all about today um when we will proceed in our next video by fossil fuel means uh, we will uh, learn fossil fuel its advantage disadvantage and other part also so wait for that next video thank you have a great day.